inelastic collusion in a hemispherical ball. Two identical masses are released from rest in a smooth hemispherical ball of radius capital R from the positions shown in figure. So one is at the top, the other one is at the bottom. Ignore friction between the masses and the surface of the ball. If the masses stick together when they collide, how high above the bottom of the ball will they go after colliding? So, we have identical uh, masses Let's say that they have a mass M each. We have no friction in the system. Therefore, the mechanical energy must be conserved. The change in kinetic energy is equal to minus the change in potential energy. Now, uh, the initial speed of both of the uh, masses was zero. Uh, there is an initial potential energy stored uh, that's due to the mass on top. As you can see, it's at a distance r from the bottom. So we have a potential energy mgr. Uh, the final potential energy when it reaches uh, the bottom will be uh, zero. Okay, so it's going to have a final kinetic energy before it hits the next uh, mass. So we have a final kinetic energy, 1 over 2 m v final square minus the initial kinetic energy equals to uh, initial potential energy mgr minus the final potential energy 0. So this gives us a final speed of square root 2gr for the, uh, the mass that's on top that's coming to hit the other one uh, right before the collusion. So this is just before the collusion. Okay. Now, during the collusion, what happens? There is no external force acting on the system during the collusion. So we have conservation of linear momentum. So, during the collision process, the initial uh, speed of this block, when, which is coming to hit this one, which will be uh, square root 2gr, and it's in i-hat direction, this will be equal to the total mass 2m times the uh, final velocity of the total system which will give us a final velocity of uh, gr over 2 square root. Okay. So after that, what happens? They stick together and they're going to start moving up. So this kinetic energy due to this uh, speed acquired after the collision will be turned into potential energy. So after the collusion, we will have delta k plus delta u equals to zero. So final potential energy minus initial potential energy is initial kinetic energy minus final kinetic energy. So the final potential energy for the combined system will be 2 mg h max, the maximum height they reach minus zero, they're at the bottom at the beginning. Um, initial uh, kinetic energy, one half, the total mass, two m, v total squared, gr over two, minus zero. So this will give us for h max, um, so these two, let's make these two m's disappear. So it's going to be uh, the R's will, the, the G's will disappear. And we will have H max equals capital R over 4. Okay, 
So in this problem, we have a smooth hemispherical uh, ball, so that means we have no friction here, and there is no friction between the masses and the surface of the ball. And uh, this mass, the, they are two identical masses, they each have mass m, so this is m, this is m. Uh, this comes down, uh, and when it, this the one is coming down, it's released from rest, it's going to acquire a kinetic energy. How much kinetic energy will it acquire? Its potential energy, mgr, will turn into one half mv final square kinetic energy. So it will hit the other mass with a speed square root 2gr. When it hits this mass, it's, go it's going to stick with the other one and the, the total mass 2m will start moving upward. So the kinetic energy acquired by this uh, system of two masses can be found using conservation of linear momentum during the collision process because we don't have any external forces acting on the system. Uh, so the initial linear momentum m square root 2 gr i hat will be total mass times the total uh, velocity of the total system square root gr over 2 will be the final speed in i hat direction. And this kinetic energy acquired will turn into potential energy because there's no friction in the system and that will give us a maximum height of capital R over 4.